let's take a look at how to set and understand our default page layout properties. Right now I'm set to an Epson 3880 printer and we need to set the page size. Currently I have set an A3B which is a 13 by 19 page. We have other predefined sizes as well and we can also set a user defined size. In the user defined size you can create any page size your printer is capable of handling. If you try to create a page size larger than the printer can handle, the software will simply not allow you to do that. I'm going to stick with my A3B size. And the next thing we need to look at is our media feed setting. The 3880 is just a sheet fed printer, so I'm, I don't have any roll settings available to me. But I do have to tell it how we're feeding that sheet in. I have the automatic sheet feeder at the top, but I have both the front loader as well as the rear loader available based on how I'm feeding the sheet. And I need to tell the software how I've loaded that sheet so that it knows how to send the proper commands down to the printer. The next thing to look at is our margin style. Right now I'm set to non-borderless and I'm going to zoom in on this page so that we can see in a non-borderless mode I can't print on the entire size of the page. I have this red area here which is the non-printable area and my 00, zero origin point is showing that I have roughly an eighth of an inch around the entire page that I can't print on. Now if I go to borderless mode the software knows based on the page size that you've set whether that option is available or not and if it is available it'll go into the borderless mode and if it's not, it won't show you anything but your default non-borderless page size. Now in the borderless mode, what I can see here is the gray area that falls outside of the page. And my zero, zero point, if I zoom in here, is right at the edge of the page. So this is showing me the printer can print on the entire size of the paper. And it also wants to print beyond that in order to do a complete borderless print. And the way it does that is it prints on the pads that are located on the carriage of the printer. Now if we were printing with the standard Epson driver we wouldn't be able to control this gray area so the driver is going to enlarge the image by an eighth of an inch and then it's going to basically chop that image area off in order to do a borderless print. In image print however we can actually control our XY origin point. So instead of losing that entire eighth of an inch around the image, I can come in and say, I'm just going to grow it slightly larger than the page. And therefore, if I have important information that is around that edge of the image, I don't have to lose as much of it. I'm going to switch back to a non-borderless mode, and we'll see that change take place again. And zoom back out. And these are the basic page layout settings in Image Print 9 that you need to know and understand and, and also understand how the printable area and the non-printable area of the page layout works.